dear students next we will take example 2 so this problem based on flat faced follower and follower with simple harmonic motion let me read the problem a cam is to give the following motion to a flat faced follower outstroke during 60 degree of cam rotation dwell for the next 30 degree of cam rotation a return stroke during next 60 degree of cam rotation and dwell for the remaining 1 to 10 degree of cam rotation the stroke of the follower is 40 mm the minimum radius of the cam is 50 mm the follower moves with simple harmonic motion during both the outstroke and return strokes draw the profile of the cam when condition a the axis of the follower passes through the axis of the camshaft and condition b the axis of the follower is half set by 20 mm from the axis of the camshaft determine the maximum velocity and acceleration of the follower when the camshaft rotates at 900 rpm according to the given data in order to construct the displacement diagram under simple harmonic motion along x axis we should take the angle of rotation of the cam along y axis stroke of the follower now here the angle of rotation of the cam the values in terms of degree in order to mark this values along x axis we should select suitable scale here along x axis 1 cm is equals to 20 degree along y axis 1 cm is equals to 10 mm according to this considered scale the outstroke angle theta sub x not become 3 cm because 60 divided by 20 that is equals to 30 mm similarly dwell angle become 1.5 cm that is equals to 15 mm return stroke angle theta sub x r become 3 cm that is equals to 30 mm remaining dwell period become 10.5 cm that is equals to 105 mm next here we can see the angular velocity maximum velocity during outstroke and return stroke maximum acceleration during outstroke and return stroke let me see how to find angular velocity of the cam the mathematical equation 2 pi n by 60 here the meaning of n speed of the cam that is 900 rpm so substitute the known values after simplifying omega is equals to 94.24 radians per second the maximum velocity during outstroke the mathematical equation pi omega s divided by 2 into theta sub x not outstroke angle here omega 94.24 s nothing but stroke of the follower the stroke of the follower is 40 mm so convert to meter now substitute s value 0.04 2 into the outstroke angle here that is 60 degree we need to substitute in terms of radians the 60 degree the 60 degree in terms of radians become 1.04 then after simplifying this equation maximum velocity during outstroke become 5.693 meter per second here the maximum velocity during return stroke mathematical equation pi omega s divided by 2 into the return stroke angle here omega value s value is 94.24 and 0.04 respectively the return stroke angle that is also 60 degree in terms of radians 1.04 after simplifying this equation 5.693 meter per second next 
maximum acceleration during outstroke the mathematical equation pi square into omega square into s divided by 2 into outstroke angle square here also omega in radius per second s value stroke of the follower in meter outstroke angle in terms of radians substitute all the known values after simplifying 1620.81 meter per second square similarly the maximum acceleration during return stroke the mathematical equation pi square into omega square into s divided by 2 into the return stroke angle square omega in radians per second s in meter return stroke angle in radians from the known data substitute all the known values then after simplifying this equation we can get 1620.81 meter per second square according to the given data both maximum velocity during outstroke and return stroke same value that is in meter per second maximum acceleration during outstroke and return stroke the same value in meter per second square now let me see how to construct the displacement diagram under simple harmonic motion with step by step step one first we need to draw a line along x axis the dimensions along x axis represents angle of rotation of the cam along y axis stroke of the follower if we mark the dimensions along x axis from the origin first outstroke for 30 millimeter represents 60 degree next 15 millimeter for dwell for 30 degree next 30 millimeter represents return stroke for 60 degree next 105 millimeter represents dwell period for 210 degree the summation of this gives one cycle of operation or 360 degree rotation of the cam so this is the method to mark the dimensions along x axis according to the considered scale next under step 2 mark the dimensions along y axis equal to stroke of the follower according to the considered scale the dimension along y axis become 40 millimeter then mark that 40 millimeter then close this box like projecting 40 mm locus then vertically the end of cam rotation somewhere it will intersect then close the box like this step 3 according to the displacement diagram precision we should select outstroke distance and return stroke distance we need to divide this outstroke distance and ret return stroke distance into any even number of equal parts say 4 6 8 10 the choice is yours now here i will take that even number as 6 once if we select the even number we should maintain that same even number till the end of this problem now according to considered even number if we divide this outstroke distance and return stroke distance into six equal part outstroke distance that is 30 millimeter divided by six for every five millimeter mark the divisions during outstroke along x-axis then name the divisions like 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 similarly during return stroke that is also 30 millimeter divided by 6 equal part for every 5 millimeter 6 dash 5 dash 4 dash 3 dash 2 dash 1 dash and 0 dash so divide and name the divisions as like this during outstroke and return stroke after this step 4 we need to draw the vertical lines from all these divisions during outstroke and return stroke up to the 40 mm locus like through 1 through 2 3 
four, five, six. Draw the vertical lines up to 40 mm locus. Next, from six dash, five dash, four dash, three dash, two dash, one dash, and zero dash. Draw the vertical lines up to 40 mm locus. Step five. Now, because of the simple harmonic motion of the follower, we need to draw the semicircle. We can construct this semicircle. We should select the beginning of outstroke, or we can select the end of return stroke. So this is the end of return stroke path and this is the beginning of outstroke path. Then we need to select the midpoint of this vertical path. The midpoint of this vertical path is from zero that is 20 millimeter. Use compass. Take this point as center. Select a radial distance till the 40 mm locus. Nothing but the radius of this circle become 20 millimeter. Draw the semicircle as like this. Now the angle of this semicircle as a center of this midpoint become 180 degree. According to the displacement diagram procedure under SHM, we need to divide this semicircle again into six equal parts. If you divide this semicircle into six equal parts as a center of this midpoint, this is 180 divided by six for every 30 degree like as a center of this from zero for first 30 degree next 30 degree next 30 degree next 30 degree next 30 degree and next for 30 degree then name the divisions on the circumference of this semicircle from here zero one two three four five six next step number six after dividing this semicircle into six equal parts, we need to project this dividing points with thin straight horizontal lines till the end of return stroke. For example, through point zero already is there along the x-axis, then project one horizontally with thin straight line till the end of return stroke, same way, project two till the end of return stroke, then three, four, five, and six comes along the 40 mm locus till the end of return stroke. That is step number six. Under step number seven, all these projected lines from zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, we need to select the suitable intersecting points. Like if you take zero of this semicircle, and the beginning of outstroke intersect at here only. So mark that point, call it as A. Next, the path projecting from one horizontally and the path from one vertically, this horizontal path and vertical path from the point one intersect at here, mark that point, call it as B. This is the method to find the intersection points. Next. The horizontal line from two, the vertical line from two intersect at here, that is point C. Horizontal line from three, vertical line from three intersect at D. Horizontal line from four, vertical line from four intersect at E. Horizontal line from five, vertical line from five intersect at F. Horizontal line from six, vertical line from six intersect at G during outstroke. Similarly, during return stroke, the sixth horizontal line, six dash vertical line intersect at H, fifth horizontal line, fifth vertical line intersect at here, that is J. The horizontal line from four, the vertical line from four dash intersect at K. Horizontal line from three, Vertical line from three dash intersect at L. Horizontal line from two, vertical line from two dash intersect at M. Horizontal line from one, vertical line from one dash intersect at N. 
horizontal line from zero the vertical line from zero dash intersect at here itself that is lies along x axis with sequence i will call it as p the point p coincide at zero dash similar to a coincide at zero so these are the methods to find the intersecting points during outstroke and return stroke after finding this intersecting points we need to join all this intersecting points with thick parabolic arc during outstroke and return stroke like join the intersecting points during outstroke a to b b to c c to d d to e e to f f to g with parabolic arc then during dwell period the meaning of dwell period during this period the follower become stable in its motion if it is at tdc or if it is at bdc now here the follower is reach tdc during next 15 mm represents dwell period we need to join this path with thick straight line next during return stroke join the remaining intersecting points h to j k l m n p up to p from h with thick parabolic arc then the remaining 105 mm for 210 degree p to q join with thick straight line this is the second dwell period during this period the follower at pdc this red color path indicates the displacement of the follower from bdc to tdc and from bdc to tdc during outstroke dwell return stroke and remaining dwell period nothing but for one complete revolution of the cam this is the path of displacement of the follower under simple harmonic motion next let me see using this displacement diagram how to construct the velocity diagram and acceleration diagram according to procedure with reference to this displacement diagram first we should take reference lines here we can see the beginning of outstroke the mid position of outstroke from the end of outstroke from the beginning of return stroke from the mid position of outstroke sorry return stroke from the end of return stroke up to some certain position drop this reference line like this again from the end of cam rotation also up to some certain position after this at any convenient position draw a line horizontally take it as reference for velocity diagram with reference to this horizontal line we need to mark the maximum velocity during outstroke so that we have determined already i have shown at the beginning of this problem we have determined those values also with suitable scale with suitable scale we need to mark those dimensions here like this maximum velocity during outstroke exactly at mid position of the outstroke with reference to this horizontal line mark that dimension along the mid position of outstroke similarly during return stroke mark the maximum velocity during return stroke we have determined using this formula with suitable scale mark the dimensions along the mid position of return stroke downward from this reference line then we need to join this points like the beginning of outstroke the maximum then end of outstroke with parabolic arc then during dwell period the follower velocity is constant comes along the reference line then from the beginning of return stroke maximum to end of return stroke with parabolic arc then from the end of return stroke to end of cam rotation that is second dwell period during this period the follower motion is constant comes along the origin so this is the method to construct the velocity diagram under hsn now let me see how to construct the acceleration diagram so initially we have determined the maximum acceleration during outstroke and return stroke using this formulas with suitable scale here the beginning of outstroke the acceleration become maximum even at the end of outstroke also acceleration become maximum but the method to show this maximum path at the beginning and at the end of outstroke is 
like this vertically upward and vertically downward from the horizontal reference line one more horizontal reference line at any suitable position initially we should take before to construct this acceleration diagram from this maximum at beginning maximum at the end of outstroke mark this path this maximum acceleration this maximum acceleration becomes zero at the mid position of outstroke then join this points with parabolic arc next during dwell period the follower motion become constant comes along the reference then at the beginning of return stroke the maximum acceleration vertically downward then at the end of return stroke become maximum vertically upward mark this dimensions but at the mid position of return stroke this value become zero then join this points with parabolic arc then during second well period the follower motion become constant comes along the reference line till the end of cam rotation so this is the method to construct velocity and acceleration diagrams with reference to the displacement diagram under simple harmonic motion dear students now we will see how to construct the cam profile according to the given problem condition a says the axis of the follower passes through the axis of cam shaft to construct cam profile under this condition we need to make sure according to the given data what type of follower it contains and minimum radius of the cam according to the given problem it contains flat face follower and minimum radius of the cam is 50 mm with this knowledge first step draw a circle of radius 50 mm using proper tools the circle called base circle then mark the cg of the base circle call it as o through the point o draw a line vertically upward with thin straight axis line where at exactly this axis line intersect the base circle mark that point call it as zero in the next step with reference to point zero and this axis line draw the shape of the flat face of follower then make sure the axis of the follower is passing through the axis of the cam shaft now here to construct this flat face of follower scale is not required but we should use proper tools in the next step we need to make sure the direction of rotation of the cam in the given problem he did not mention like the cam is rotating in clockwise or in counter clockwise in this case the choice is yours if i consider the cam rotating in clockwise sense if it is in clockwise sense then we need to join point o 0 with thin straight line with reference to this line we need to mark the outstroke angle dwell angle return stroke angle in counter clockwise sense if the cam rotates in clockwise with reference to this line we need to mark this angles in clockwise sense that is the difference but here the cam is rotating in clockwise sense with reference to this again with reference to point o 0 use proper tools take o as center with reference to o 0 in counter clockwise sense draw a line at an angle 60 degree represents outstroke angle then from the end of outstroke angle from the end of outstroke angle mark the dwell period for next 30 degree from the end of first dwell period mark next 60 degree in counter clockwise sense represents return stroke angle then the remaining 210 degree represents the second dwell period after this next step we need to divide this outstroke angle and return stroke angle into six equal parts because at the beginning of this problem we have selected the even number as 6 then we need to maintain 
that same even number till the end of this problem. Now, if we divide this outstroke angle into six equal parts, nothing but 60 divided by six for every 10 degree during return stroke, that is also 60 degree divided by six for every 10 degree. We need to divide this divisions on the circumference of the base circle during outstroke and during return stroke. So name the divisions like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. During return stroke, 6 dash, 5 dash, 4 dash, 3 dash, 2 dash, 1 dash and 0 dash. Next, we need to extend all these paths up to some certain position like O to 0 up to base circle, O 1 up to some certain position, O 2 up to some certain position, O 3, O 4, O 5 and O 6. Initially, we need to extend these paths up to some certain position during outstroke. Similarly, during return stroke, all these paths we need to extend up to some certain positions. After this, along this path, with reference to this divided points, we need to mark this intersecting points. In order to mark this intersecting points during outstroke and return stroke, we should take distance from the displacement diagram. Let me see the displacement diagram. So this is the displacement diagram under simple harmonic motion. Here, the first intersecting point A coincide at zero. Then the second intersecting point B that is from one. This distance we need to measure. Distance from one to B. One to B. Vertical distance from two to C. Vertical distance from three to D. Four to E. Five to F. Six to G during outstroke. During return stroke. Six dash to H. 5 dash to J, 4 dash to K, 3 dash to L, 2 dash to M, 1 dash to N, then P coincide at 0 dash. So by measuring this vertical distance or using compass, we can take directly this vertical distance, then we can mark this distance while constructing cam profile from the respective division points. Similarly, a is coincide at 0. To mark B, distance from 1 to B using compass, take 1 as center, draw an arc. Like that, we can determine the intersecting point B, then trim the unwanted extended line. Same way, distance from 2 to C, 3 to D, 4 to E, 5 to F, 6 to G during outstroke from the displacement diagram. Similarly, during return stroke, distance from 6 dash to H, 5 dash to J, 4 dash to K, 3 dash to L, 2 dash to M, 1 dash to N, then P coincide at 0 dash. After marking these intersecting points during outstroke and return stroke from the displacement diagram, in the next step, through all these intersecting points, we need to draw the lines. These lines represent bottom of the flat faced follower. This is the bottom of the flat faced follower. So this length we need to take at each and every intersecting point and this paths must perpendicular to the respective path at intersecting point. For example, A coincide at zero and here we can see this is the bottom of the flat face. Now through B we need to draw a line, this line length equal to the bottom of the flat face and this path must perpendicular to OB. Similarly, through C perpendicular to O2, through D perpendicular to OD, through E perpendicular to OE, through F perpendicular to OF, through G perpendicular to OG during outstroke. Similarly, during return stroke through H, J, K, L, M, N, P, draw the lines perpendicular to OH, perpendicular to OJ, perpendicular to OK, perpendicular to OL, perpendicular to OM, perpendicular to ON, 
perpendicular to op respectively after constructing this lines in the next step we need to draw the cam profile the cam profile must touch the bottom of the flat faced follower at each and every intersecting points so these are the lines drawn by each and every intersecting points and this path the circumference must touch the bottom of this flat faced follower like this with parabolic arc with thick line we need to draw this cam profile from 0 to o dash nothing but a to p during out stroke first dwell period then during return stroke so during remaining 210 degree of cam rotation during second dwell period the cam profile comes along the base circle using compass take o as center radial distance o to 0 dash simply draw a circle up to 0 so this red color path represents the cam profile after constructing this cam profile make sure the first 60 degree rotation of the cam in clockwise sense rise the follower from bdc to tdc next 30 degree rotation of the cam it retains the follower at tdc next 60 degree rotation of the cam it lowers the follower from tdc to bdc remaining 210 degree rotation of the cam it retains the follower at bdc like this the relative motion takes place between the cam and flat faced follower under condition a next condition b condition b says when the axis of the follower is half set by 20 mm from the axis of the cam shaft under this condition first we need to draw a circle of radius 50 mm represents base circle then find the cg of the base circle call it as o as a center of o we need to draw one more circle the radius of this circle is 20 mm nothing but equal to half set distance so this circle represents half set circle like this as a center of o base circle and half set circle with radius 50 mm and 20 mm respectively we need to draw next step draw a line vertically with thin straight axis line tangent to the half set circle nothing but this vertical axis line is basically half set from the cg of the base circle and half set circle nothing but from the point o at a distance of 20 mm so this vertical line from o at a distance of 20 mm so here it represents the condition b axis of the follower is half set by 20 mm from the axis of the cam shaft so this axis line represents axis of the follower where at exactly this axis line intersect the base circle mark that point call it as zero with reference to this zero and this axis line draw the flat faced follower with proper tools okay scale is not required here up to a certain height after constructing this flat faced follower make sure axis of the follower is half set at a distance of 20 mm from the point o now here in the given problem he did not mention to take this half set axis to take this axis offset axis towards right or towards left again the choice is yours here i will take towards right after this we need to make sure the direction of rotation of the cam here i will take in clockwise sense if it is in clockwise sense we need to join point o and 0 with thin straight line with reference to this line using proper tools o as center with reference to o0 in counter clockwise sense mark 60 degree represents out stroke angle from the end of out stroke angle from the end of out stroke angle 
mark next to 30 degree represents 12 period from the end of first 12 period mark next 60 degree represents return stroke next 210 degree represents second 12 period so take this paths up to the circumference of base circle in the next step we need to divide this outstroke angle and return stroke angle into six equal parts similar to that selected even number here both outstroke and return stroke are equal to 60 degree if it is six equal part 60 divided by six for every 10 degree now during outstroke show this divisions on the circumference of base circle during outstroke like 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 similarly during return stroke during return stroke 6 dash 5 dash 4 dash 3 dash 2 dash 1 dash and 0 dash in the next step take a look carefully through all these divided points along the circumference of base circle during outstroke even during return stroke we need to draw the lines with thin straight line all these lines must tangent to the half set circle that is our condition procedure well through zero the axis of the follower already become tangent to the half set circle then through one draw a line tangent to half set circle then extend that path up to some certain position then through two tangent to half set circle extend up to some certain position through three tangent to the half set circle extend up to some certain position similarly through four five six draw the lines must tangent to the half set circle and they extend those paths up to some certain position similarly during return stroke through 6 dash 5 dash 4 dash 3 dash 2 dash 1 dash and 0 dash draw the tangent lines draw the tangent lines must tangent to the half set circle and extend this paths up to some certain position along these paths with reference to this division points from the circumference of base circle we need to mark the intersecting points here also on this extended paths to mark b c d e f g from 1 2 3 4 5 6 this distance we should select from the displacement diagram during outstroke during return stroke also to mark this intersecting points from h to p from 6 dash to 0 dash this distance we should select from the displacement diagram that is during return stroke after marking this intersecting points in the next step through all this intersecting points we need, we need to draw the lines this lines equal to the length of bottom of the flat face so this lines represents bottom of the flat face similarly through b perpendicular to this tangent path through c through d e f g perpendicular to this tangent paths during return stroke through h j k l m n p draw the lines perpendicular to this respective tangent paths after this here while constructing the cam profile from point zero nothing but a is coincide at zero from point a we need to draw this circumference and this circumference of the cam must touch the bottom of the flat face with this intention we need to draw this cam profile during outstroke dwell period during return stroke up to zero dash but then during zero dash to zero next 210 degree during 210 degree rotation of the cam we need to join this with thick line okay on it comes along the base circle now here the complete red color path with thick line represents the cam profile here we need to make sure during first 60 degree rotation of the cam in clockwise sense it rise the follower from bdc to tdc next 30 degree rotation of the cam it retains the follower at bdc next 60 degree rotation of the cam it lowers the follower from tdc to bdc next 210 degree rotation of the cam it retains the follower at bdc like this under condition b the relative motion takes place between cam and follower dear students 
I hope you all understand how to construct the CAM profile under condition A and B according to the given data.